Hey guys, it's Matt. This is the Creepy Mid Journey website. I believe it was Mark that originally brought this to my attention. In a moment, we'll look at Community Showcase. Um, just out of the blue, this summer, this spring, these websites pop up called AI Art or AI Art Rendering or Concept Art, where some sort of AI renders photorealistic concept art, any ideas that anybody wants to put in in keywords in complete uh, almost 8K. The level of realism is dictated by whatever keywords you put in. The characters and people shown don't exist. It's all rendered by the AI. Uh, for example, in the middle, somebody would have typed in with white hair, and the AI would have rendered that. Basically, puts all concept artists, many of which are like starving, struggling concept artists around the world, puts them all out of business uh, within one year or within one week. Um, anybody can just go on these sites and get this beautiful artwork rendered based on the keywords that they put in. This bodybuilder in the middle, she doesn't exist. Um, yeah, just punch in a few keywords at Midjourney or Dale or some of the other programs. Sign up for 10 bucks, and you too can have... It's basically like having a team of the greatest artists in the world at anyone's disposal. You know, you're getting this art generated. You can generate as much as you want if you sign up for certain levels of the program. And it's basically like having a few million dollars of artists on your staff overnight. And uh, I immediately ran to my security blanket, my Linus blanket, Greg, on this. And we both are really creeped out. We both don't see how this is possible. And we've talked about AI coming for a long time in these communities. And this is a really creepy entree. So let me give you an example as to how this works. Greg found a Dale mini program or Dale 2, and he just put in three basic keywords, night, quake, like the quake, he was thinking about the quake gaming engine, and he put in Oompa, like Oompa Loompa, but without the Loompa. And it came back with four results. They're always creepy. That that was one. I'll come back to it in just a moment. The creepy mariachi band faceless mariachi band was given to him for those three keywords behind the emerald green um it's almost oh any he hasn't played with it too much and he's like he, he won't continue to play with it uh, greg's very christian religious and he's like it's like playing with a ouija board there's just some it's really creepy um you know it is it is 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 it going to create egregore? <laughs> if you play with this too much, is it going to create egregores in this world or commune with an interdimensional demon? Well, I don't think so. Greg doesn't think so, but it, it, Greg's like it feels like it. It's really creepy. Most of what it returns, it's never cheery. It's dark. E anyway, so there's also ways you can interact with the AI to tell it exactly what you want instead of just putting in three keywords to get this mess back. There are certain words or even certain numbers that can be put into some programs kind of to tell the AI more exactly what you want rendered so you just don't get a dark mess in a pentagram back. But you, but it what's so amazing about it, if you don't need to know its code or anything like that, if you put in enough keywords, almost just regular speak, is that a word, or a regular talk, regular speech, Pros, to say you could. Greg would, if you wanted to refine this, would say um, about the mariachi band. He would say photorealistic, um, festive, uh, party. I, I don't know, and it would start to come to life, and all coming back to him. I don't. He said it didn't take more than a few seconds to get these back. So, look, there is a lot going on here, guys. You get the idea as to how these programs work. Let me show you the list of the top programs, and then I will start, you know, I'll list out all the problems I have with it. It just makes no sense how this is even possible. Actually, first, let me show you the rest of the images that Greg got back. He added a few additional keywords, and he's like, I'm not doing this anymore. It's like playing with a Ouija board. Get this. It looks like a real action figure. It's just all, none of this is real. It's all generated via this AI art program. And some look completely like a cartoon. I said, did you ask for it to be a cartoon? He's like, no, it just gave me this in a cartoon. It's just bizarre when you look at the 
images uh, when you zoom in on certain things. Like the guy's arm is severed in the back. It's just really bizarre. With a lot of these programs, it renders four different ones. You pick the one you want. And this came back. I said, did you ask for the tie to be a snake? It's like, the tie is a snake. He's like, no, I didn't ask for the tie to be a snake. It just it does its own thing. And these elves, there's a few others I didn't show you, which are more rudimentary elves. These elves kept popping up. It was like, um, remember Alex Jones back in the day ranting about the clockwork elves that people say <laughs> come to, I think he was ranting about Chris Geo and the clockwork elves when people take ayahuasca and DMT. And then with a slight adjustment to his keyword, this was return to Greg. I mean, in the past, say there was going to be a new Batman with Mr. Freeze or Universal Studios or Sony Pictures or TriStar Columbia, Disney Pictures, whatever. In the past, an artist might take six weeks to come up with a concept rendering of what the new bad guy in the movie should look like. And they'd sit around a table and be like, well, nice, nice attempt here, Fred. We might not use your version of what Mr. Freeze will look like in the upcoming movie starring George Clooney as Batman, but nice attempt. How long did it take you? I sketched this up over the last six weeks. Greg just put in a few key words, and it just a few seconds later, just a complete rendering that would be appropriate for like a Hollywood movie in the 70s or 80s was returned to Greg in a few seconds, as is this creepy character. I'm not saying the name. I'm like, Greg, would you, do you feel comfortable saying the name? He's like, no, it's like Voldemort. Don't, it's like, that, don't say, it. It's, it says here T, T-E-I-N-N-E-R. Like it, it created a character and then it named it. I'm like, why? Did you ask for it to be named, Greg? He's like, no, I didn't ask for any of this sh-. He's he Literally, he said, I don't ask for any of this horse shit. That's what he said back to me. It just returns this horse shit. I said, Greg, can you record that in MP3 so people can hear it sometime? He's like, I'll do it sometime. I did a quick Google search, top 10 AI art creation companies or art generators, and this is what it returns. Mid-journey's not even in here. That incredible photorealistic fantasy art that I showed you coming in, that company's not even here. doesn't even make Google's list. Dale seems to be the most um, notable one, like Salvador Dali, D-A-L-L hyphen E space two. Deep Dream Generator, Art Breeder, Deep AI, Starry AI, Fotor, Runway ML, Wombo Dream. Top 10 best art generators. I mean, yeah, let's let's get into the problems. What now what's the problem? It's just a friendly AI that wants to help kids with their art projects. Why you always got to see the negative? Oh, I'm sorry. But yeah, there's some problems, including look what Google's still doing. Google's listing me in real time. What Google, what's this all about? Top left. It on this simple Google search of AI art generators. It says this is the results of about 442 million results in 0.6 seconds. 400 million results. Remember when we did this before? You go to page 40 to 45, and then it switches to one of 400 results. It goes down from 400 million to about 35 just when you hit the last page. This proves it because there couldn't possibly be 400 million results on these new AI art generator programs that were released this spring and summer. So look like Google's still doing the same thing. Bot, bot, dong, dong. If you're, st- if you're listening to me in real time, you know, why, you, why are you still doing that? Just put the, you know, the number of results you're returning, just put the real number. What, what are you, what are you saying back to me? Bot, dong, what are you saying back? People for 20 years have been fooled that when they do a search, there's hundreds of millions of results and they just have to pick the best one and that you're still pushing forth the same ruse? Ruse. Your cunning attempt to trick all of us. Here's the Dale 2 homepage. Dale 2 is a new AI system that can create realistic images and art from a description in natural language. It's true. Just put in... um dog, black and white, I don't know if you separate with commas or whatever you do, um, 4K or 8K photorealistic, or if you say, you could say cartoon style, things like that. And um, to a lot of people, I guarantee to a lot of people right now, we'll, 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 before we get into the dark side of this, uh, look at the pricing, um, how easy it is to just sign up per month 
and to get almost unlimited art back, which just doesn't make any sense to me. All right, here's the first of many problems. This is back to the Midjourney website. I think it's just midjourney.com. Guys, um, the top tier for pricing, corporate membership, $600 a year. $600. The corporate people that will buy this, they have socks that cost more than this. The pricing gives it away. They want to push this out to the world as quickly as possible. Which means there's something, Matt, which means there's something very dark inside it, inside the carrier wave. Yeah, probably $600 a year. The corporate people that would be looking to buy, they have shoelaces that cost more. You will be able to use images commercially as an employee for a company with over a with over million dollars a year in gross revenue. Your available fast time is set to 120 GPU hours, 7,200 GPU minutes, every time you purchase or renew the plan. But all the same, Peach, they, they, it starts at $10 a month. <laughs> it starts at $10 a month <laughs> for an individual. Now, there are some longer wait times, etc. But literally, I mean, okay, does it make sense to you that literally somebody panhandling on the streets of San Francisco, you know, could after they raise enough for a few hot dogs and whatever, they have they have the extra they have, um, somebody hanging out on Eddy Street up by uh, 8th and Market, um, they have enough extra to, to become members here and they can have artwork rendered to them that only, you know, maybe 10 years ago, only, you know, maybe 10 artists in the world could replicate, and those artists would require maybe $100,000 for their work. Say they're working on a big film or a movie post or something like that. Hundred that Now you can put what the movie studios used to hire somebody to do for hundred grand. some homeless guy on Eddie Street, Ellis and Eddie, can do for 10 bucks. Come on, man. Come on, sir. That doesn't... We see a ruse. There's some, they're, obviously, they're making it too easy for, for this to be adopted uh, worldwide. The top, the top membership is $600. If, you're, if you have revenue of over a million, for something like this, literally, if anything were real, and it wasn't all being pushed out via the not-nilk system, all coordinated, I don't buy any bit of, of this. No, no, Matt, you don't understand. This is a private, my research says this is a private company that came up with this, but then I don't buy it for a second. This stinks of a not-nilk master plan rollout. You, anybody, listen, imagine anybody stumbling upon this video. Um, anyway, with over a million, if you have over a million dollar years in gross revenue, the cost for something like this if anything were real, should be eighty thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, six hundred. Is it really? I'm just staring at it like it, like there's no way it says six hundred dollars. Oh my god, guys, this is a close up of one of the images that I'm about to show you. Back to the Mid Journey Gallery here at MidJourney.com. If you're like yawning during this, or like Matt, ho hum, this isn't a big deal. You're not getting it, or I'll blame myself. I'm not expressing how big of a deal this is. All right, Greg and I are talking. He knows, you know, he, in his job, he knows a lot about basic computer programming. Obviously, he hasn't been at the cutting edge of leading technology for 10 years, but we're talking. I know, you know, I'm not, I've lived in this world, in this world as well, and, you know, I've, I've been around the block a few times. I said, Greg, is there any way this could be programmed by a, a human being, a, a how how could he's a guy? I don't see guys. It, it's rendering this level of detail. I don't know. Maybe it takes a minute or two for the image to come back. Uh, there's just he's like no. It has to be programming itself. It liter it is an artificial intelligence. There's no possible way a human being can sit down at a computer and, and code uh, a program that could do this. It's just not possible in terms of any sort of technology we possibly can understand or comprehend. And if there was a program, one, one Jordy Rose D-Wave snow cone machine box that did this, and you put in the inputs, and it takes 12 hours to render an image for the movie studios, I can almost understand that. But the problem here, guys, 
This is now going viral all over the world. So it's not just, you know, the photorealism, it's not just doing it for one person at a time or taking 10 hours to compile, even if that's possible, even if it could be programmed by a, quote, real human being. You know, Greg and I are like, well, how many people, let's just say a Dale is much more popular than Mid Journey. Uh, we keep going back to Mid Journey because the, 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 the incre- I've never seen anything that matches these. I, I'm sure they all can probably do it, but Mid Journey's gallery. If you look, if you zoom in on a, on a on a like a 1080i monitor, I'm I dumb. You know, I, my videos I reduce in size. They get a little grainy. You have no idea how clear, how realistic these images are. You know, with on your if you have a big monitor. Go to midjourney, you know, yourself.com and whatever it is, community center, and you see all the, it's incredible, the level of detail. I just can't show it to you. But Greg and I are like, well, how many people around the world are, are trying to access the same servers? Assuming it even works like that. We'll get to that in a moment. So there could be a thousand requests at once. See what I'm saying? To... However, Mid Journey is creating this AI art. Well, what happens a year from now after I talk about it and millions of other people talk about this and people sign up for 10 bucks a month and a kid in his dorm room signs up for 10 bucks a month? So the, the whatever is generating this is it gets it could be getting 100,000 hits a minute and it's still generating this level of art. It's like the operating system from the movie with Joaquin Phoenix her having a relationship with, he says, how many, there's others? How many others misoperating system are you involved with? I think she says, I'm, I'm involved with 600 other people, Joaquin. She's having a relationship and talking to 600 people at once. See that computing, if it, this is ho-hum or boring to you, you, you probably don't have a computing background and just, you don't realize how, the level of detail the processing power, just to do one of these, let alone do it for somebody for ten dollars a month, and then if there's if this goes viral, and there's millions of people all over the world accessing the server, all wanting their AI art at the same time, a thousand hits at the same time, and it's still generating, alien. It's alien. There's no possible technology we could possibly fathom um, that could do this. Sorry. And it, even the Google search, we looked at this a, a year or two ago, even the regular Google search is impossible to comprehend. And I had people come back and, you know, they they told me what is what, and Matt, you're completely missing the boat. And I don't think so on, on the Google search. Some a little fishing Eskimo group in Alaska, a native Alaskan Eskimo fishing group can create a website last week. Just, you know, hey, come with us. We'll... A week, a year, maybe there's seal hunting, whatever. Just some little website out of Alaska. And as long as it's crawled by Google, you can, let's say I know uh, there's six words used in a row. Um, Our seal hunting techniques are best in, you know, the name of the town. Um, Whatever. If you put that in quotes and put it into a Google search, if you're in Tempe, Arizona, it will find that a little Alaskan website inside of a half a second. Impossible. Impossible. There's no way it can crawl through trillions and trillions of... How would it know exactly where to go in half a second? Maybe I'm not getting this out. That's not possible. It's just not. Um, if it's something that's indexed all the time, like the Coca-Cola or Pepsi-Cola homepage, and you search for a specific text in quotes, seven or eight words there, it's it's fine. It, there should be certain homepages that rank higher where it knows to look there first, if you see what I'm saying. But the little Alaskan fishing company, it'll take you there in a half second based on, you know, it, the seven exact words you're mimicking from its homepage. Just knows to where to go out of trillions and trillions and trillions of pages. It's not possible. It's an alien technology we don't understand. Or, it's, or the AI is completely... Um, is completely in charge of everything, and nobody programs anything anymore. But this is not possible. Even if it was possible today, once millions of people are asking the same server for their 1080i detailed art, um, then and it's still being generated, that's not possible. But that's just one problem among many. Let's go on to more problems.
some more images from Mid Journey. If you hover over the image, it'll show you the keywords that were actually put in. So that lighthouse there just looks like a real picture of a lighthouse. It doesn't exist in this world. Somebody typed in, says prompt, drone photography, aerial view, beautiful lighthouse on a cliff, coastal, rocky, cliffs, waves, hyper detailed, beautiful. It says dot, dot, dot. It probably put in maybe 10 more words. Creates an image of a lighthouse that's completely realistic and the lighthouse, the rocks, the scene does not exist in this world. Okay, Matt, you've said that enough. We got it. Okay. So what are some other, <laughs> what are some other problems here? Oh, there's a lot. How are there so many companies just in the past year that can do this? I searched on Google and it said, here's a list of the top 15 companies that create AI art generation, concept art creation. And again, mid journey is not even in the lists that I found. How so many at the same time that if it's somebody's invention or creation, then it would be one company. And wouldn't that company immediately have suitors? Amazon would be willing to spend 10, 20 billion dollars for that company or Google or, or it would come from Google. It would there's 15 companies and they all seem like little companies. You just look, oh, this company does it, that company does it. It just doesn't make any sense. If that would only make more sense if it's like there's just like there is no and where, where's the server? To, I bet there's no website, and I haven't done any research on this. I bet there's no website or video, or there's gonna no 60 minutes article on television where you walk into the room and like they point to the box, like the D-Wave box that could have been part of the ruse of D-Wave. They put, where where's the server? You know, isn't that the way it has to work? I mean, obviously, probably not. We we think outside the box. People people like you, people like me, we think outside the box at this point. But wouldn't the normal person think, well, where's the server? Let you could you could take somebody into the room, into the room where the server sits, and say you could point to the box. You could point to the snow cone machine. Say that's what's rendering. That's the whopper. That's what's rendering the shit a thousand times a second. Maybe there's nothing to point at, if you see what I'm saying. Maybe it's an artificial intelligence in the internet, and some of these companies know how to work with it. Who knows? You see where I'm going with this? There's way more here than what we can comprehend, even. And we we think way outside the box compared to the... I'm looking at the guy down the cul-de-sac right now. He's big, got his pants hanging, pants on the ground, pants on the ground, dragging his trash cans up to the curb. He's got a, it looks like a, a big plumber's crack, ass crack. And these people, these people, they would have to say, well, p point to the box. I need to see the server. Where is it being done? There might be no server. Maybe that's part of Jordy Rose's initial snow cone machine D-Wave ruse, if you see what I'm saying. I'm not going to show you the whole list, but you could, again, search top 15 AI concept art generator companies and some list popped up and I just scrolled down and I gave you a screenshot here of number five, Deep Dream Generator. Here's the gallery. Deep Dream is one of the most popular AI art generators that is a conglomerate of tools. It enables users to explore different AR algorithms. Oh, wow, that's wonderful. So it, this is number five on the list. Oh, this and then, and the people... You know, like people in my family would come across this and be like, look, honey, all these little, they just think it's all normal. These little companies popped up that can do AI art. Oh, that's not that amazing what they can do today, honey. Isn't that my family? I can picture certain family members. Isn't it amazing what they can do today without thinking it through? Like, well, how is there? There was none two years ago. Now there's 15. They all got the same idea at the same time. If it's such a great idea, why wasn't, why didn't Facebook offer $40 billion to buy? They, they, these companies can come up can, can come up with 40 billion dollars like in the in the seat back cushions in the couch cushions that's nothing for these mega companies that why didn't they buy them up so they so then facebook controls all the art it's all it's such a not milk obvious plan here and you could even you know you know what i think about when the not milk works it's it's little little deviant ways you could actually go to the ceo of deep dream generator and he would have, or she would have no idea what I'm talking about. 
I mean, and, and how ridiculous does that sound? How arrogant would that? So, Matt, you you little crazy section of YouTube, you see the master plan of some dark, sinister system here in this plane of existence, and the CEO of the AI uh, concept art company himself or herself wouldn't even know what they're being involved in and how they're being used and manipulated by some dark thing here you call not milk. Yes, I believe that. If that sounds mad to you, well, you probably haven't embraced the horror as long as we have. Oh man, I'm so happy I get to talk about one of my favorite topics in the world, the D-Wave Geordie Rose Snow Cone Machine. There's nothing I like to make fun of more than the D-Wave Geordie Rose Snow Cone Machine. See it in a little black box up there? You know what it's good for? It ain't even good for snow cones. He says it goes down to, they drop it to one degree Kelvin or something, almost to absolute zero, so it can reach into another dimension to get its snow cone or its toppings. What toppings you got, old man? I don't buy, I don't, until you show me one thing that these quantum computers have done, well, Matt, they're, they're, you're never going to show you anything how it improves your life. It's, it's corrupting reality at the quantum and metaphysical level. That, you're not going to show you that, Matt, you jackass. Maybe it is. But it's worthless to me until I see it do something that I can actually see tangible results instead of, you know, pouring some sort of a liquid over crushed ice. And here's what gave it D-Wave away from me, guys. The fact that he, it wasn't just a TED Talk. He kept giving these speeches about the D-Wave. Kept, it's that same thing that Ray Kurzweil did, one of my most favorite topics of all time, how you have to go and plant the idea into real spiritual beings and then they somehow they help manifest you keep doing these speeches and saying the same thing so here top right i found this image here's d he's going to give another speech here this isn't ted talk he gave a lot of little speeches little i let the audience in around the d wave and they're like holding their hot dogs and hamburgers in their hand and their coca-colas and they're like touching the box Ooh, we can touch the d wave he gave little speeches where then he let people in to see the box and one little kid stepped up like i want to see inside this What's in, it's probably like, like a raccoon in here pedaling a bicycle. What the hell is in? There's nothing in there. It's like the, the ninth level of Metroid. You know, you know what's, if you could open a little door and look inside the black box, you know what's in there? Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Here is, he's, so he has the most complicated computer. Um, the, guys, the point of why I'm mentioning this related to what we've been talking about, these art AI generator companies and the concept art, I'll relate that, connect them hopefully. Uh, in a sane way in just a moment. But he he's he has supposedly the most sophisticated computer ever designed that reaches into it, per his words, not mine, reaches into another dimension, he said, to get the answer. Yet, here he is standing in front of a curtain with, it looks like a plastic <laughs> or cardboard sign, a, a cardboard sign that he, he basically ran down to the local Kinko's before the damn presentation. You just, what should we do? I don't know, just pin it up to this curtain. Pin your plastic sign up to this curtain. But what, you just have a little bullshit cardboard sign when you have the most sophisticated computer ever de ever devised to see how one doesn't go hand in hand with the other because it's all, it's all cardboard. <laughs> it's all plastic. Okay, finally related to what we've been talking about. Guys, I have another contest entry, you know, like the craziest thing that ever could be said in our community where potentially the old guard in the front rows of the classroom would be like, that's not a big deal, Matt. I can see them doing that. We have another contest entry. This pushes the limit. I know this is odd, okay, and, and, and just throwing it out there. Is the purpose, is the purpose of the D-Wave presentation so people believe every computer or anything generated by a computer ultimately has to have a box or a server or something you could point to. Like a Whopper computer, you could point to it, you could sit on it, you could rest your drink or your coffee on it. You know, is that the point of D-Wave? Wait, wait a second, Matt. You're saying there is no D-Wave, there's nothing to it, it doesn't even make snow cones. The whole point of this whole presentation and push is so when computers do these start doing these incredible things and start generating AI concept art per a thousand hits a second they're getting around the world when they these AI concept art generators go viral and millions of people around the world have signed up for 10 bucks a month and they're all asking for artwork at the same time that they want people to believe that there ultimately has to be a server sitting somewhere 
They ultimately want people to believe that it's just the computing uh, techniques that you know people know about, like their desktop under their desk or some heavy thing in a box where there is no, potentially there is no server is where I'm going with this. There, for, the, for the concept art, will we ever see the servers? Until I see the servers, even then it could be a snow cone machine. Is the, Matt, where are you going? Is the internet itself producing the concept art? You see what I'm saying? Why, why does there have to be a box? That, that is old-fashioned thinking. That's thinking in a box. And Matt, you're not actually suggesting potentially the purpose of D-Wave and the Geordie Rose uh, go on the road with Seabiscuit tour where he gave the same speech over and over again like Ray Kurzweil does was actually just to put in the minds that any computer process has to come from a box that somebody eventually could rest their drink on when it comes from potentially the internet itself or an AI that exists or a clockwork elf <laughs> that exists inside the system, like Tron or something, where there is no box. Yeah, yeah, I'm suggesting that's a possibility. Yes, I am. Would I put all my chips there? Um, no, but but I'm, I'm sure there's at least a few people in the front row of the old guard going mad. I can see them doing that. It's not that much of a stretch if you if you study how these creeps do business. Here's more concept art from Dale Two. On the right, you have Completely photorealistic stuffed animals, uh, bears, teddy bears, underwater using a computer. And it looks completely realistic. I'm sure if you zoomed in on it with a high-resolution monitor, it would maintain its quality. Okay, Matt, assuming we buy in once again, for some reason I'm still at this channel, we buy into your crazy horse shit, and it is this not-milk plan, coordinated, and I, I buy into all that bullshit what's what are they what are they okay what are they out to do again how are they out to corrupt what they call the real human being well let me look at the playbook what is the run up the middle every time the playbook the play to the one ring that rules them all the one play that rules all football plays is the run up the middle distraction i was talking to greg i said greg if you can sign up for you know the $10 a month fine, you, it might take a while to render or you have a limited number, but $30 a month, $30 a month, a dollar a day. How many right now before, people don't even know about this, how many thousands of people you know, on a Friday night around the world are just rendering? And let me, oh, here's, I'm going to put this, Homer, there's Homer Simpson. And, I'm, and what if we put a hat on him? Let's put that let's put a football helmet on him. Let's render this. Oh, make it color. No, make it black and white. How many you can just render and render different keywords, adjustments. How many thousands and then tens of thousands and millions will just render images, render images, interact with the AI. And the AI learns, right? It learns what people want and how they think by what they put into the box, right? Think about it. Think about it. you and me. You, we're the same, man. Think about it. The AI is learning as people interface with it, and they're being incredibly distracted at the same time. Now, if it was fifty cents to sign up, maybe somebody would say, maybe these conspiracy people, like Matt, these crazies, are actually onto something. No, they would never offer it. But see, ten dollars a month or thirty. Oh, that—that's a legitimate business model. There's nothing dark going on, Matt. I heard about you people. You're one of those. So I said Greg used um, either Dale Mini or Dale 2 for whatever. They gave him some free samples. I said, Greg, you, I could imagine this is, could be very addictive. You used it. He's like, yeah, it, it could be real addictive. You have that. You have the distraction. Somebody's rendering 40 different million different versions of Homer Simpson. Are they finding their spiritual selves? Are they doing what they're supposed to be doing in the limited time? This, this life, it, it puts endless incrementalism into somebody's life and day. And even if it can just shave off a second here or a second there, it all adds up cumulatively and collectively to distract somebody so they don't do what they're supposed to do in life, so they don't come to certain spiritual realizations and understandings. Somebody emailed me, the other day, I forget who it is now, I should go back and find the email and give credit to it. It was a genius. It was um, about how the, dams ca the damn cars shut off when you come to a light. Happened to me just the other day. My car is old, but I guess a lot of the new cars 
car had the window down. It was warm. The damn thing just shut off. That's weird to me. I, I've never been behind a wheel of a car that does that. Apparently, they, they all do that now. And the email was like, could that be part of the, the distraction incrementalism? Like, Or I guess we emailed back and forth and put these pieces together. And I know this is way out there. But if it takes just a half second more to start up to get through the light, and then you times that billions of times a day over the course of lifetimes, it all is that incremental distraction. And I'm, I, I think when it comes to the, that is the way an AI would think. That is, if there is an AI in some way that is the dark here, it would think that way. It would take a half second whenever it could get it, or even a millisecond, because it could see the collective, uh, the collective nature of how all of that could add up. Matt, did you just suggest that cars shut off at lights, not because of green movements or because of gas, but because of some weird not milk strategy to just to take a half a second here and a half second there to distract people throughout their lifetime? I'm saying it's a possibility. I'm not going to put all my chips there. Okay, I understand how out there that is. A more sane theory as to why cars, still insane to the normie, this would all be insane to the normie, but why cars shut off at lights, that it just drives people crazy. Most people don't like it. It could be to push electric vehicles. Electric vehicle, of course, that would not be an issue. And somebody might be screaming at me now, throwing rubber duckies. Like, Matt, in, some, in, in most cars, that's, that's a simple disconnect. It is now, right? You have to see how they think. It... it 10 years from now, five years from now, and well, because of green movements and because of um, whatever, this control or that environmental, it could be by law, the damn things have to shut off. You know, just because you can disable it now, that doesn't mean that it's, you have to introduce certain things to people. A normalization of cars shutting off is happen happening now. People getting used to it. Then it may become law. And then people are like, I can't take this horse shit. I can't, the damn, I'm, I'm just going to buy an electric vehicle. That That is a more sane reason versus <laughs> the, you know, the, the a dark, not milk uh, via a collective um, 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 uh, aggregation of, of taking little milliseconds wherever it can to distract a human being. For, those, for anybody new here, it's still, this reality is about a half page. It's For anybody new, it's very simple. We're here to understand what we're really here to do for our spiritual selves and to drop baggage, to drop all the crap off here in this reality and foster the best side of our nature, our spiritual nature, connecting with that. The dark here, the whole society and reality and, and culture as it's crafted, is is set up so, to distract us from that mission. It is that simple. We're here to do this, and the whole society, reality, all the minions, all the celebrities, everything that collectively you call culture and society is here to keep you from doing that. It's that simple. And, and it, all, that simple concept relates to every video I'll ever make, this video, and everything else. There are two sides here. You can serve your spiritual self and what you came to do here for yourself. That's a worry about yourself. Or you take the other side. You serve reality, societies, and cultures' general goals of distracting you from doing what you're supposed to do here. The other side, there's a lot of different classifications. Politicians are um, the easiest to see. They work for it. Most have no idea how they're serving it. Most, they're not in on it. For the, A few of these creeps know more than, than, than we think, okay? But in general... The millions that serve this system, right down to when you go renew your license at the DMV, 99 point whatever, 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 that serve the distraction system to keep real souls away from and spirits away from what they're here to do for themselves, they're not in on it. They don't have any idea how what they're doing, how they're serving it collectively. You have to back up a long distance and look down at it from afar to see how it works as a collective, but it's ultimately one sentence. The distraction side of the tug-of-war team, and on the other side's you. It's not a group of people. It's, it's what you're here to do for yourself. It is that simple. Most, every year and decade that goes by, there's more people pulling on the other side of the rope. There's more people serving it and having no understanding whether they're real people or not on what they're here to do for themselves. 
for some reason, I've always related it to this image, the um, Vitruvian man from Leonardo DiCaprio da Vinci. I don't think that's what Leonardo DiCaprio da Vinci had in mind, probably, but to me, it's always, it, you know, pulled on one side, pulled on the other side. Most people gladly go to the George Bush side in some way, serve it, and have no idea what they're here to do. I always see it as like being pulled in two different directions. That's what the Vitruvian man means to me. And now that I'm just staring at it, doing this little segment, I'm thinking, Leonardo, why don't you put a loincloth on him? Why did you have to do that? Just cover him up. And if you used Wyatt's, the underwear, Wyatt was parading around in after his night with Lisa. God damn it, Wyatt, will you cover yourself? Cover that up, Leonardo, next time. Jesus. Greg and I talked for probably over an hour about this stuff yesterday. One thing he said is it serves ego. Uh, people will render a piece of art or a fantasy woman or whatever it is, and they'll see it as their own <laughs> creation. And it is, they'll be very proud of their own creation. And we took it further. We started laughing about it, how many Napoleon Dynamite type uh, young men or kids or doesn't matter, women or whatever, they'll, they'll actually develop feelings for the fantasy women <laughs> that they create. It'll be like, remember Napoleon Dynamite? He had those glam shots. They were, they were just generic glam shots, but that became, to, I guess he showed Pedro. He said that was his girlfriend in Canada. He says, yeah, she took her to the mall, get glam shot. They'll, how many, I'm, no, you think kids will not fall in love with the fantasy women or women that they create, it serves ego, it serves distraction, it creates weird fetishes. Uh, the knot milk, you can imagine, the knot milk loves this, but they have to make it look legitimate. I guess if it was a penny a year, that <laughs> you could say maybe these conspiracy people are right. They just want to give this away. But, it, but see, to the to people like my aunts and uncles. You know, if you do if you do ten dollars a month, that's a legitimate business model, Matt. They can't overcharge. Or that no, that's giving it away. That's you want you want as many millions. Well, Matt, you're serve you're ser I get the same thing every time. You're serving it by talking about it. Yeah, that's the approach I should take. Every video should be. I'll just come out with a blank screen and say, I'd love to talk about certain things, but we can't serve it. So I'm. We're not going to to talk about it, and you just stare at this blank screen, and that will be my video. To know what best armor to create, or best armor to put on before the battle, does it help to know how the attack will come, whether it be long spears, axes, swords, arrows, should I carry my shield? In crafting your own armor, yes, you do have to study the tactics of the enemy. Then Greg and I were speculating, you know, what's next? You create your fantasy, woman, if you're Napoleon Dynamite, but then you want it to have a personality. Well, of course, that will be coming at some point, right? You will get loaded subroutines or onto your, or whatever it be, onto your computer. So there would be some sort of personality generated through the AI that you can then assign to your fantasy, <laughs> to your fantasy woman that you create as Napoleon Dynamite. So then you can truly fall in love with it like the scenes in her where he falls in love, Joaquin Phoenix falls in love with his operating system. And at first it'd be rudimentary, but then it will, of course, learn to talk dirty to you. But you don't think the not milk, not milk would love these distractions? You'd have all these kids between 14 and, and 20 years old who never never leave the house. Forget about they They don't need any sort of um, children of men scheme so there can be no births. I mean, you people won't leave the house. They'll be in love with their AI fantasy woman and there'll be devices that'll talk dirty. There won't be any, there won't be any more dating. There won't be, the whole species will go to zero. That's, that's part of what they're doing too. Probably people never leave the house. They can't propagate. You know, if I had to and you forced me, I probably would pick the fantasy woman lower center and her uh, personality would be something like it. I'd boot up the computer in the morning. She'd be the screensaver. And then, of course, the AI would have to have her move around. Her lips would move. It would become like a real woman to me as a Napoleon Dynamite creating my own fantasy woman. And it would say, hello, Matt, you look dapper this morning. And is that a new Everlast sweatshirt? No, I have a name for her. Like I named the cats Bootsy and Puss Puss and Zara and Addie. Her name would be like um, 
Susan. No, Susan, this is the same old Everlast sweatshirt. Oh, you look so... Is that a new skull cap, Matt? No, that's the same old give thanks one and I have that I haven't washed. But you still, Matt, you still look so good. And it, oh boy, who needs a real girlfriend when this happens, right guys? Matt, are you saying this whole AI fantasy art generation and concept art that's available for almost for free, that they want to collect up millions of people just so they can collect up millions of young men to start having relationships with fantasy women. I'm saying that's one of the goals, potentially. They, they don't just have one goal. They have many goals. When you look at this, look at all the women. Look how they're presented. I said to Greg, Greg, have, have you've been through, you know, he's been on other sites that I haven't been on. I said, you ever see any, I don't know, like, Women that aren't perfect, that aren't, you know, in, you know any pudgy women, you know, what does he say? You better size 12. Oh, good. good. You ever see anybody like you? Can I, can I help you pull that into the van? You just can't step into the van. Um, I don't see any women like, like that, like the senator's daughter. They're all like this. These Napoleon Dynamite types, when they craft their fantasy women, um, some won't want the ultra realism of the top left that woman does not exist it's just a rendering it's incredible they'll want a little bit cartoonish many will like the bottom left you know bottom left you can see it's just not quite real some men actually get turned on by anime anime or whatever you you know that looks completely unreal yeah no not me i don't get turned on by an an anime is it called whatever the anime I know is I watched Star Blazers in the 70s. That was kind of like anime. Some men like that, they'll like a more cartoonish fantasy girlfriend. But whether it be that or the top left, when you boot your computer up five years from now, maybe not you, and the top woman at the top left says, Hello, Matt. Are you sure that's not a new Everlast sweatshirt? Did you lose weight under that Everlast sweatshirt? Boy, you're looking dapper considering it's old and frayed and there's big holes at the elbows. And when it starts talking like that and then starts talking dirty, you know that number on the Georgia Guidestones? They're not going to have to 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 jump through hurdles to get. They'll get that naturally. But a billion men will never leave the house again. Okay, great example. <laughs> Some men will choose the, the girl in the middle as their fantasy girlfriend. They look, she looks a little mean, like they want her, that those men would want her to take the lead in the relationship. And she probably has a big Harrison Ford, a uh, hand solo type laser blaster on her hip. And the men will say, show me, uh, they'll name her like Susan. Susan, show me your laser blaster again. And she'll hold it up. Some men like this. I, okay, guys, do, or you, Matt, you're not saying the whole purpose for bringing this out and making this go viral and bringing this sort of art creation to the masses is so people can, millions of people will develop or eventually be, take the first step with, with what this is, is developing a fantasy girlfriend so they never leave the house and procreate. That's probably one of their goals. I think a lot of the old guard in the front row is like, I could see that. I'm, there's a lot of reasons for this, but remember all the problems associated with it. It's too cheap. Ten dollars a month. Come on, man. Come on, sir. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. All the companies doing it all at once. Fifteen companies just po popped up all at once. Is it being created by the internet itself? Without, there's no box to point at. No server. No Whopper computer you could put your drink on. You know, there's that. Why haven't the big companies bought them up? Why isn't Amazon involved? Why doesn't Facebook own two of them already? You know, what well, the mega companies that could just buy these smaller companies up. They seem to be out of it right now. Part of the script. Who knows? There's a lot of problems, a lot of things here that don't make sense. I want to talk about one other big theory I want to float um, related, but but bridging out into a, into a different area. See if you guys uh, think there's any merit to this theory. Oh, no. He's not going to talk about Rings of Power again. It relates to what I've been talking about. Let me float the theory as soon as possible here. This is getting long for a lot of people to see if you want to stick with the back 10 minutes. I think there's a lot of merit merit to this, and so did Greg. All right, as quickly as possible to see if you want to stick with me. We know this stuff is made bad on purpose. 
on purpose. We know with Rings of Power, it is so horrible. Amazon knows exactly what they're doing. They made it bad on purpose. They're trying to piss the reviewers off. They're trying to get the reaction out of the reviewers that the reviewers are giving them. The reviewers, though, have no clue, of course. This is the most frustrating yet fascinating thing of all time to me. The reviewers just complaining about the same. I'll go. I'll move on, guys. You've heard me say this. They just think it's bad writing and Amazon lost touch with what real Tolkien fans want. If there's any reviewer listening to the sound of the words of coming out of my mouth, it's on purpose, obviously. Okay. Let's, there's, let's, we're not going to get into that again. We know that. Many, many of you agree. Okay. Why do you then ruin TV shows, franchises, beloved franchise? Why do you ruin TV and movies over a 15-year period? To me, you ruin it if you're out to replace it with something else. What would replace traditional movie and TV watching? Movie and TV is created with completely AI-generated characters, like some of the fantasy women that we just looked at. Like, remember, Final Fantasy came out in the year 2000. They said that was completely generated uh, via computer animation. It was very impressive. And thinking what they did in the year 2000 or so with Final Fantasy, then what do they have available now? I mean, think about, think about it. Final Fantasy stuff just went away. Oh, we're not going to make any more movies like that. Well, that's on. it went away on purpose for, for whatever reason. But maybe there'll be a five or ten year period when they're using AI generated actors and actresses where it just won't be that great. You know, they, they have to refine it. There'll be some glitches or it just won't be believable or, you know, it is AI generated. And, and as bad as, see, that maybe that's why Galadriel is so unlikable. The, the actress that plays Galadriel is so, so cardboard, so unlikable. You, you don't care about her. Then all TV shows that are out now, they all are bad. You don't like any of them. You, you lose, you get frustrated. You don't care about your old series anymore because they're all going to be made bad. The new Doctor Who is going to be bad. Maybe that lets you more, you're more open then to accept the artificial actors or actresses. And when it's kind of bad, it's not going to be as bad compared to the crap you've been watching on television. See what I'm saying? See, if you create the cra- rings of power, Gladriel, it, it's just horrible, all right? But then Amazon's, let's just say they do this. Is this what's in the works? I don't know. Amazon's going to do a, oh, we're sorry for what we did. Who knows what they'll say? We're going to do a new Lord of the Rings, but all characters will be AI generated. And even if it's a little bit, it could be, a, well, anything would be better than Rings of Power and this actress in Galadriel. You could put um, Punch and Judy puppets, and that would be better, but you see what I'm saying. Then it, compared to this turd, people might be more accepting. And, and even though it might take five to ten years to work the kinks out, you know, Matt, are you saying they're dis- they're making these shows bad on purpose, like the last Terminator movie and all the stuff they're ruining, Simply to get people more willing to give the AI generator a- generated actors and actresses a, a a greater chance to succeed, because the bar had been lowered. What if the 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 real system over here of movie making kept producing movies like The Wizard of Oz or the modern version or a movie like Forrest Gump or Gone with the Wind or Casablanca or Raiders of the Lost Ark? If it kept doing that, think think about it. The AI would never have a chance. It would never be given a chance. So this AI stuff they're trying to do over here with the AI actors and actresses, this ain't people would be throwing shit at their TV. This ain't good enough. These these characters, I don't feel for them. I don't I don't root for them like I rooted for Indy Anna Jones in in uh, the Temple of Doom. Indy 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 Indy. What you know? I but you make it shit over here with with horrible actresses. It's so bad that I would think whoever this actress is that plays. Gladriel, sorry, sorry, Gladriel, whoever she, whoever, she can do better. She can do Princess uh, Amidala, which is Natalie Portman. I mean, if you would think, if you saw Natalie Portman as Princess Amidala in the, la, in, well, that was the, the prequel. Those were half decent compared to the horse shit that's out now. You would say she's the worst actress of all time. Her lines are so bad and so calculated 
like it's a second grader writing the script where she's been good in other things. She's, it, she's, it's being dumbed down. In other words, this actress, I think, can do much better. She's, she's acting poorly and being a bad actress on purpose. Now she, Matt, she's in on it. She's, she knows, wouldn't that affect her career? I don't think she is in on it. They'd say, look, this is how we want you to play Galadriel. Never smile. She just doing what she's told. I don't, they don't, she doesn't know the grand not milk schemes that we crazies dabble in. Of course she doesn't, but she's coming across as completely unlikable. Once she, they don't know what the feel of it's going to be as they're filming it. When they filmed the original Star Wars, I've heard some comments here or there. I don't know if it was from Carrie Fisher or documentary, but it was like, they didn't have any idea what the feel of the movie would be. They had, nobody had ever seen anything like Star Wars. Think about it on set. Stop saying, think about it, Matt. Starting every time I say it, thanks to that surplus scene and falling down, it's starting to annoy me. I'll, I'll work on that. Um, with this giant, hairy Chewbacca thing walking around and a guy in a big black cape and a, it would seem ridiculous as you're filming it. Luke and his, you know, whatever he's dressed in and Leia and Han Solo and the Wookiee and look plastic backgrounds you would you would really almost be embarrassed and be like do we want to keep filming this or we want to save our careers you wouldn't have any idea if you were participating as an actor in star wars how incredible it would come off once it hit the big screen i think it's a similar thing here she doesn't have any idea how unlikable uh, she will come across and which is of course amazon's intention so my crazy theory i'll float it as another contest entry i think a lot of the from looking out over the front row of the uh, classroom amish classroom and they're going, yeah, matt, i can see them doing that yeah the, matt ho-hum that that's not a contest entry that's 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 something they might might easily be uh, willing to do destroy everything that's real with a real person acting to create a, a a greater chance of acceptance in a complete AI production. That's my theory. I'm sticking to it. Why else would they... See, if you either agree or disagree with me that all this stuff is being made bad on purpose, which I am 100% convinced, and up until this point, I mean, I never had a really good reason, why, other like until now, why... I mean, I know that it creates more hopelessness and and destroy everything is, is a not milk tactic, and it wants people to become disheartened, and you know all this stuff to eventually they want to move people into a digital environment because nothing in in your real world is satisfying anymore. But I never had like that. It's like a missing link as to like tactically why they're doing this, and I I didn't realize these AI characters can be produced via with such ease and we see that with these programs like Dale and Mid Journey and if it can be created in 5 seconds a photorealistic beautiful fantasy woman from a certain planet or whatever their her backstory is then how hard is it for the same systems to make her walk and talk um I don't I think they probably can do that now and just to close, the old guard has heard me talk about this many times. It may be interesting to anybody new. There's no doubt in my mind that the CGI, the level of graphics, and the realism has been held back and not been put into movies, not, not given to the movie studios, or that movie studios don't use the highest level of sophistication when it comes to computer animation, because it will be used for the mission what you're what you're looking at now they will need the highest level for the mission which won't really be a mission if you see what i mean whatever that thing is um we'll go up we'll go up in the air and um you know what if, you know from there we're it'll splash down into uh we used to have Dorney Park up here, or the Hershey Park or Dorney Park water slide it'll land there and it won't go anywhere but then the, C, this, the, the CGI, the photorealism, perfect CGI will take over. And it will be so good that, um, of course, it will be fully believed. You know, you'd be crazy to talk to your aunt or uncle and say that's, that didn't happen. Where that's why, you know, in Amazon's Rings of Power, 
at these reviewers, I think the reviewers are just normal people, folks. They run their scripts just like everybody else. They'll still say the same things. The scenes are incredible in the Rings of Power. The the landscapes, no, I've said this, but I'm going to do it again. No, they're not. It's the same CGI-looking cities we've seen for 10 years. And they, they, they do look kind of cool, but they don't look real. There's a difference. Something can be incredibly well done and fascinating and artistic and neat into a story, but not it doesn't look real. There's a difference. And that's all what well, these movie studios are allowed to use the incredible CGI, um, but it, ha- it lacks that realism that we've never seen. And that it, it, they have it. Okay, they have it. That, that realistic touch will be used for this. Whenever they, they're holding it back, they stall, they stall, they stall. They check, they read the emails, they ch- read the tweets. People are getting antsy. When's this mission? When People are getting antsy. The best thing we can do when you know, talking to people is hopeless, but I will as much as possible. I'm just going to keep saying to people, when's that mission to Mars coming? You think it'll ever come? At some point, uh, maybe the same Whopper supercomputer that puts out the Dale images <laughs> will spit out a ticker tape. And say we've read all, we've read, all, we've compiled all the tweets, and of course we analyze all the tweets and Facebook posts and comments and emails, and we can, you know, that system can all do it in real time. It can analyze a hundred million things per second. People are getting antsy. We need to make this mission happen, which means they have to finally, you know, roll out. It's probably like I've said, it's probably already done. It's already done. They they they've already created that movie. It's already done, in my opinion. And it will have a realistic look that nobody's ever seen in a movie. Therefore, it will be 100% believed. And there's nothing we'll be able to say or do to convince anyone other than that, of course. And, um, you know, uh, maybe I, if you, someone screaming out or throwing rubber duckies saying, well, if they already have it ready to go, why don't they just do it? Because it still has to be pulled off. I mean, there's still, come on, there's still, you, you know, how many people have to be kept quiet. How many people are in on? I mean, you know, come on. It, it would be, it's much better to keep promising it as long as it goes along with the whole stalled century theme. Just push the goal line back, push the goal line back, stall it out, never have to deliver this, never have to deliver on this promise. They, they're much easier, of course, by a factor of a, a million to keep stalling it out than to actually have to do it. Um, maybe there is a little portion of the of the movie, whatever they made in the, with their computer graphics, that there will be a glitch or something they didn't catch, or who knows? If you implement it, something could go wrong, all right? And, and I don't know. Matt, they pulled off this, they pulled off that, they pulled off all they've pulled off for 40 years. You know, why would they be worried about this? I hear you. There's some weird reality buttons and levers here why we see right through everything and nobody else can see a thing. And if they just rely on those creepy <laughs> metaphysical so those those creepy tactics i mean why would they be worried about this but it's again it is it doesn't matter it's easier to stall and just say the mission is coming than to actually do it when in my opinion the movie is made that's you, that's why you can't have a perfectly photorealistic movie with with artificial ai actors and actresses before you do this event See what I'm saying? Because if if the actors and actresses in your AI movie, it's perfect realism, then you know then the the mission then doesn't look special when you finally roll that movie out. So let me just recap this in my way of recapping it. So let me get this straight, Matt. If I stumbled upon this video correctly, you believe there's not going to be a mission, but they'll put one on TV. Because the movie is already made with a level of computer graphics that is held back from the movie studios, I, I if could you, yeah it does get crazy to a normal person looking for cat videos that may stumble upon this, guys and is and is whack at some point I know you're like you get to the point where you're like that's so crazy maybe we're missing something, you know our theories get so crazy. That sometimes I stop and I go, am, am I losing it? But remember, no. If you if you fold over tinfoil a bunch of times, it does not go through solid steel that weighs as much as a Mack truck. 
you know, if you make if you make a Reynolds wrap a wing, it doesn't go through solids. And we have tens of thousands of other examples. It's it's this world is that crazy. It's not us, at least not yet.